Hi there. I'm Steve. Welcome to a scouting mission. I'm on a mission today, scouting out a new location where I can hopefully do some pica photography. And pica love these uh, talus fields, just boulders and this kind of stuff. And uh, my friend Irene told me about this spot. So I'm on a scouting mission today. It's clear blue sky, very bright, very harsh light. Uh, kind of the worst light possible for photographing pica. So I'm uh, just scouting today. I did bring a camera just in case something good happens out here. But I kind of doubt I will make any photos in this light. Uh, so my main goal today was to come scope this place out. Uh, did I say thank you to Irene yet? Thank you, Irene, for telling me that you saw pica in here. Uh, now my job is to come find them. So I found the boulder field. Now I have to find the pica. Uh, so anyway, I just wanted to let you know I'm scouting today. I'm going to come back on a cloudy day when we have nice soft light because this kind of stuff, it's so shadowy and, you know, the bright, the rock is really light in color. So really bright highlights, really dark shadows, not particularly good for pica. So I'm going to wait for a cloudy day. I'm going to come back. I'm going to keep cruising around here. I haven't seen any pica haystacks yet, nor have I seen any pica. I heard a pica though. And if you don't know what a pica sounds like, go back to my previous pica photography video. I do a fantastic imitation of a pica call. <clears throat> Me. Uh, but anyway, that's uh, the deal. I'm out here looking for pica, listening for pica and looking for pica haystacks. And that will give me an idea of where I want to be when I come back next time on a cloudy day. So here it is, a lovely place to be on a very bright and sunny June afternoon. So next time I talk to you, it will be cloudy and I'll be here ready to do some real photography. I will see you then. Those are cool rocks. It's a few weeks later and I'm back in the Talus field. It's a partly cloudy afternoon in July during an extremely hot and dry summer. My kids are in town for five weeks and we've been going non-stop, doing our best to make the most of our precious time together. My daughter is spending the afternoon with Steph doing girl things, and my son and I decided to go exploring. He's never seen a pica, so off we went to find one. When I started making this video several weeks ago, I had visualized making some wonderful environmental portraits showing the pica in its jagged, rocky habitat. I had planned on talking about the versatility of a zoom lens when making environmental portraits, and of composition and its importance when shooting a scene as cluttered as a talus field. It was going to be a great video full of teaching points, it didn't work out that way. Once my son expressed interest in going out to explore the talus field with me, things changed. I didn't care about my preconceived ideas about the video anymore. I didn't care about making epic photos or making sure I hit all of my teaching points. I just wanted to have a great time with my son. Scrambling over unstable rock fields, listening for the goofy sound of a pica call, searching for the most eye-catching rock in a sea of talus. I watch my son's playful curiosity and try and keep up with him as he takes photos of chipmunks, interesting rocks, squirrels, spiders, birds, and yes, even pica. The curiosity of a preteen boy is a wonderful thing. After hearing several pica calls and following their sounds across the talus field, eventually we found one. It came within 10 feet of my son and he was able to use his iPad camera to make some photos. He was psyched. I was even more psyched though, not at the sight of a pica, but at the sight of childhood curiosity and unbridled joy and discovery. 
My son didn't notice that the light wasn't great. He didn't care about the background or the composition or the shutter speed. He was just having a blast and there was nothing that could stop him. In the end, I did eventually make a few photos of Pika that day, but my heart wasn't in the photo making. My heart was full of gratitude for time spent with wonderful kids in a wonderful place doing wonderful things. Our five weeks of summer together is now over, and I cherish the time we spent together. Me, Steph, my son, and my daughter. I took thousands of photos during their summer break. After all, I do love photography. Some of those photos were actually pretty great. Some were pretty terrible, too. But even the terrible ones will help me remember the past five magical weeks. And that's just one more of the priceless gifts that photography has given me. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the people you love and enjoy the gift of photography.